my name is Kayla. I'm from California, United States. This is my first time in Ghana. Um, I feel, one, when I first got here, I feel like I'm at home, but actually coming here to this space and feeling my ancestors, I feel connected. Um, and I definitely feel like I'm bringing them back home with me. And I definitely want to return and I definitely want to bring my family so they can share this experience because I think it's definitely important to, for everyone that's a part of the African diaspora to experience this. Echo, echo, echo city. Yes, it is always refreshing to have brothers and sisters visit the motherland and really express their feelings as to the experiences when they go here. I've had the same feelings and I'm still waiting to have a beautiful experience of that feeling. Um, I was born in Nigeria in, you know, some years back by my Ghanaian parents. So when I was one year old, I was brought to Ghana because my mom passed away uh, at the age of one. So I never saw my mom, you know. Sometimes I cry over that, but hey. But uh, at the age of one, I was brought to Ghana and I've never been to Nigeria again. And I've always been telling my dad that I want to take that experience. I want to go there, go to Ondo State. That is where I was born. Uh, R.I.P. Uh, rest in peace to some brothers and sisters who, who were murdered some time back. I think um, two months ago while they were in the church, people went there and bombed the place and all that. But hey, sorry about that and uh, condolences to all the families. So I was born in Ondo State and I've always had that feeling to go back and then check it out. And that feeling is what I get from you when you come to Ghana, the motherland, and feel like, no, you are really connecting with your ancestors. Here in Ghana, there's an organization called God Box Tours, uh, managed by Gilbert Buhari. Shout out to you, brother. So uh, he organizes spiritual journeys, you know, for brothers and sisters from the diaspora. So a few days ago, he called me up and said, Echo, I'm um, coming to the castle as usual. I'm bringing the brothers and the sisters who want to really connect with the ancestors. So uh, we basically started from the Cape Coast Castle, from behind the castle. That is the door of return, okay? So people, uh, brothers and sisters who came out, passed through the door of no return. But when you come home, I think you need to have this spiritual, um, uh, spiritual rituals done for you, where you go through the castles from the behind which is the door of return. It signifies that, hey, I have come home and I have returned home. So uh, God Box Tours, you know, organizes spiritual tours for uh, people who want to come and then connect with the ancestors. So it was a beautiful event. It was spiritual, though, and emotional for uh, people who had come here for the first time, seeing all these things and then connecting with the ancestors. So let's get in there and experience what really happen so thank you very much for checking me out put up a comment and let me know if you also have plans of coming to Ghana and connect with god box tours so that they can bring you here onto the motherland peace because of people like you who decide to again like i said have the gall the nerve the courage the faith to get here and bring your ancestors back so this is something that's sacred this is why we have our fishermen chiefs and queen mother over here that are here to greet us. Um, so what we're gonna do is, first things first is we have to greet them, right? So we're gonna take everybody, we're gonna take a line and then greet each of them. And then what they're going to do when you come back is they're also gonna greet you. So there's a, there's a reconciliation um, symbolism in that, in that aspect. So what I would like you to do is just take turns as... When, when they tell you, when they say Akwaba, your response is Medase. Medase. So when they greet you, they say Akwaba, you say Medase. Akwaba. 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 Thank 
Baba. 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 What we're also doing now is, as you can see, we, we brought two basins of water. This water was taken from the ocean. Normally, when we come, uh, we don't have all this going on. Uh, they're doing some construction around here, so the water's all the way back. Oftentimes, when people come, we would take them directly into the water. But today, uh, what we, because of, you know, they kind of blocked us off, what we're doing is we, we took some of the water from the ocean and we're gonna act, this is a sign of um, purification um, and healing. So however you feel, again, we're not here to dictate what the spirit is gonna tell you to do, you know, but we want you to understand where you're standing, the sacred grounds that you're on, and the fact that, you know, water kind of symbolizes a sort of cleansing. And so, again, you're bringing, understand that you're coming with generations with you, behind you. Um, you're not just coming as yourself, you're coming with your ancestors as well. And they were praying and hoping that this day would come. So what we're hoping that you do as you're here is that you also understand the cleansing and what this water means. So whatever the Spirit told you to do, what we would like you to do is, if you want to put your hand in the water, some people take off their shoes, or sneakers, whatever it is, and put and wash their feet. Others just wash their hands, put it on their face, whatever the spirit tells you to do, you know, but utilize this water because this water is symbolic of our ancestors. And, you know, a lot of them, as you know, a lot of them died in these seeds. A lot of them didn't make it over, over on the other side. But y'all, clearly, um, your ancestors are strong enough to have the fortitude. Hey, Razi, I want to watch over Ken Razi. Letting them understand that their children and grandchildren had come back. He made mention of the fact that those who were taken were not able to come by themselves. But their seats are here. So all that God should welcome you back home. You are their children. So whatever you do should be blessed. Be cleansed from every harm. Be protected from every danger. And that as you have come here, no harm will befall you. No evil will come your way. Whatever you do will be a blessing. They call on all the good saints, all the good spirits to come and drink along. And all those that are not of good spirits should go to the other side and take from there. That's what he just did. So let's do that. A consensus connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. So my name is Yomani. Um, I've been here before. I'm coming back. Um, I went through the ceremony when I first came. Um, family, soul names, Kwekwanan. Um, I'm just glad to be home. Um, I feel at peace when I'm here, um, when I'm around everybody. Um, you know, the chiefs, the queen mother. It's, it's, it's all an experience that you can't even dream of and I'm, I'm grateful for being able to be here again.
Yeah. 